Welcome to Sharp Manufacturing and to our solar centre. Would you like to come this way? In 2004, solar manufacturing was brought to SUKM, Sharp Manufacturing Company of UK. And as part of the development of the site, we felt that we needed to go through an education process for the general public. So we introduced our solar centre. As part of that further development, we've now introduced our solar academy, which is specifically for installers. And this is part of our academy. The centre is actually split into a number of different zones. One of the first zones that we have is we talk about the sun and we try and provide information with regard to the importance of the sun and how we take the sun for granted. So here we have on this, this panel, um, we just talk about the sun and the planets and how important it is, for example, most of us enjoy going on a sun holiday. Um, when we go on holiday, we like to see the sun. Time um, has evolved from sundials, the original way of actually telling the time, through to various festivals like Christmas. is actually um, originates from a Roman fest festival, which was actually celebrating the sun. And then we have things like photosynthesis, the importance of the sun in just our general everyday life. And if we don't have photosynthesis, we don't have plants. If we don't have plants, we don't have life. We then look at fossil fuels. Obviously, one of the issues that we have as, as a world is that our fossil fuel resources are diminishing and we really have to do something different. And this is really highlighting some of the issues that we have with fossil fuels and how, on a practical note, we have to think of alternative energy. And then as an example, we just have alternatives to fossil fuels. So we, we touch on hydro, nuclear, obviously solar, wind, tidal and biomass. So just touching on some of the different types of alternative energies that are available to, to the world. And then obviously from Sharp Manufacturing's point of view, we are talking about photovoltaics. And photovoltaics, the description on the, the end panel, is really concerning the conversion of light into energy. Um, and there's just a, a very brief example of how that conversion works. I'd like to welcome you to our solar lab and our solar workshop. Basically what we have in this zone, which is zone two, is we have some information, we have a solar quiz for you to partake in, we have um, future energy and also the technical information. On this side we have the workshop, if I can show you an example, we have a radio here. We all know the radio works by um, batteries. But we have a little solar panel here. And you can see, we have light, we have the little solar panel. And even on a cloudy day, you can see that this radio is still working. It's, we're still getting some energy. When we go to the next um, piece of equipment. This is just to show that it is light intensity that we need, not sunlight. And basically we have here three different shades of cloud. We can then show you on a very light cloudy day we still are getting some energy. And a very cloudy day, a very overcast day, we are still producing energy. Here we have um, a typical house. Basically, this is um, run from eight panels. It's got 1,500 watts here, and we've got various items within the household, and you can see the usage of the different items within the household. Here we have
have our zone where we talk about the development of Sharp and solar and here we can see that we have the development of, of solar cells from 1959 and in 1963 Sharp made the, started the first mass production of, of solar cells. Sharp have um, a long history with the development of solar power on lighthouses and also the use of solar cells on satellites. And here we just have some examples of other developments within the solar field, including the development of sharp manufacturing, which is where we are now. On the next panel you can see that as a company, Sharp have a long history and are inventors. Our founder, uh, Mr Hayakawa, actually founded Sharp following uh, his development of the belt buckles and then ultimately developing the first ever Sharp pencil which was a mechanical pencil and it's from that development, the ever Sharp pencil, that we get our name Sharp. He had to sell the patent for the pencil to allow him to set up the company following an earthquake and here you can see on this panel how Sharp have been the first in many of the products that we take for granted now. For example, the first company in Japan to build a radio set. Um, also, the first to deliver the first commercially produced television. So we are first in many, many things and also we are obviously leading the way with solar panels and solar technology. In this area here, this is, this is the future of solar. Basically, just a few examples I'll point out to you. We've got the new solar phone here. No need for, for chargers. You can charge your phone up purely by light. This also is a nice um, little phone because it's also waterproof. Um, we come along, we've got the amenity lights. This is a, a, a favourite with um, Sharp. It's the dual view um, sat nav. So what you have here is you have the driver can actually see the um, sat nav, while the passenger can actually watch a movie. So it's a big favourite of the company. We have weather satellites, um, so we can determine um, how the weather, the space weather affects Earth. We then come to sun farms, how people have got solar panels on land producing energy that can be provided to homes. We have the solar sun wheels, um, which basically we um, joined a company um, called Swarovski. And basically this was made up of a thousand sharp solar cells, um, each having a special um, crystal in the center. We also use um, solar panels on highways. In Germany you'll find them on the autobahns, on, as noise protection walls. In, in the USA we have them on the highways below, again producing energy for homes, lighting etc. And we also have solar flight. Um, November the 19th, 2009, we had a prototype um, of a solar powered um, airplane. Basically, it was destined for a record um, and it made its first trip doing two kilometres at speed of uh, five knots. This is our final zone in the solar centre and here we have examples of the raw material that are used to actually produce one of our solar cells. I'd like to thank you for joining us on this tour today and if you would like to take a tour for yourself then please contact us and come and join us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>